Hey guys, Dr. Zach here, Chief Entomologist at Thanksgiving Point, and today we're gonna unbox some bugs. So one of the beautiful things about starting a brand new zoo from scratch is that once we get our permits, all of our friends at other institutions will send us surplus animals. So we just got a package in the mail. Let's open it up and see what we got. Holy moly. Okay, let's start here. So these are things that I have seen in zoos but I've never actually seen in real life. These are giant African millipedes. These are the largest millipedes on the entire planet. They live in the uh, jungles and rainforests of Africa, and they are the biggest millipedes out of the 10,000 species of millipedes in the world. Check that out. Now their name means they have a thousand legs. They don't actually have a thousand legs, but they still have like three or 400, you know, so not bad. These guys are detritivores, so they're gonna be crawling through the forest floor, eating up leaf litter and fruits and things that fall out of the trees, right? So they're in there helping us re recycle the forest. Where are you going, little guy? I mean, just the most magnificent thing about these guys is just their sheer size. They're so big compared to the other millipedes that you'll find around that you really get to see all those body features. And watching that pattern of the legs as they walk along is just mesmerizing, you know? Think about how good these guys would be on the piano. All right, guys, let's see what else we've got. I'll see you guys soon. This is one of my favorite animals on the whole planet. These are Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Look at these guys, they're huge. Now cockroaches get a really bad reputation. It's not fair. They're actually very, very clean. They're constantly cleaning themselves. Look at these guys. Now cockroaches are not venomous. They can't bite you. Uh, the worst they can do is they have these spiny little legs and sometimes they'll give you a little kick like a spur of a cowboy. Look at this, they've got little hooks for feet that can grab right onto you like that. That's so cool. Now the reason these guys are called Madagascar hissing cockroaches is because they come from Madagascar and they actually do hiss. It's not like a cicada that like vibrates a little thing on their body and it's not like a cricket that rubs their wings together. They actually go, they hiss out air like that. Let's see if we can get one to make a noise. He doesn't want to. Come here, dude. Let's find a vocal one. There we go. Woo, calm down guy, you're a noisy little fella. All right guys, let's put you away for now. We'll come back to you later. Okay, let's see what else we've got. I think I know what these are. Wow, that is insane. Check this out, you guys. That is the egg of a jungle nymph. That's a type of walking stick that comes from Malaysia. It's the second heaviest insect on the planet and a massive, massive walking stick. Look at that egg, that's crazy. Those are the largest eggs on the entire planet coming from an insect. This is the record holder right here. Now the female jungle nymphs are gonna lay these massive eggs down in the soil where it's nice and humid. So we need to recreate those conditions here to take good care of them. So we're gonna take these huge eggs, we're gonna keep them in a nice, warm, humid environment until they hatch. That could be a year from now. So these guys live in Malaysia, hot, humid forests. And once they have the adults that'll be like, the females are like that big and they're bright green, the males are brown and have wings and are like that big. They look big. If I had it in my hand, you'd be like, holy moly, that thing's big and scary. But they're just like sheep in trees, you guys. They're these adorable little critters. They hang up there. You won't even be able to see them. They're so camouflaged and they just eat leaves. Okay, guys, that's all we've got for today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, like the video. If you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe. Have any questions? Leave something in the comments. Ask questions about these bugs. And if you really like the videos, do me a favor, share with your friends. I want as many people as possible to learn about these bugs. In fact, come on down in person to the Butterfly Biosphere at Thanksgiving Point, and we'll show them all to you. See you next time.